So, I should be live now. Hi and welcome everybody to BusyCast number 101. Wow, insane, we already had three digits. It's actually insane how far this uh, have co uh, has come. I'm still basically surprised. Yeah, today I have my Eric Pritz tea on because, well, we have a fantastic uh, Eric Pritz tea. And um, it's, it's basically a huge fan kind of uh, EP, I would say. So the fans are really into it and all that. David is in already. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. The first track is by Daniel Levak and it's called Let's Go. And for this episode, there's actually something new um, that I thought of. It's the first time, basically, that I prepared all the links beforehand. So I hope that uh, it will be a bit easier for me to manage everything uh, within the stream. Because I always had, you know, troubles with, you know, looking for the link and everything. And this time, I just want, you know, to check out, to, 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 to you know, um, I, I took the time to, to really, you know, get into it. Uh, think of what, what I want to play exactly. Because usually I don't do that. I prefer it to be, you know, more, more on the go, more on the fly. But in that case, I believe it's easier. Yeah, Ricardo is also ready. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah, um, and Eric is already in as well. Thanks so much. So thanks for, for your fantastic comment earlier. So, yeah. And uh, I start off with the uh, Two Room uh, EP. Um, yeah, the only thing that I still have to do is, of course, tag the artists. This is the only thing that uh, kind of is left. But all in all, in general, I believe I am hopefully well prepared. And I got already all the Spotify links in a Word document, basically, so it's very easy. Um, let's see if this works out. So, um, yeah, this track is basically on the um, on the two on the two room uh, Ibiza um, Volume Two compilation by Two Room. And uh, yeah, and I always, you know, love to start a bit techier, and um, this really, you know, got my attention with the bass line and uh, yeah. Uh, the, the track was initially released on Formatic Records, so the label by Format B, I would suggest, I would say. Yeah, and as always at the end of the stream, I'll of course share the whole um, uh, playlist. Yeah. And also he adds there a bit of, you know, the FX is there. This, <laughs> this is very interesting to, to see. Yeah. And to hear, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what you what you like so far about it, and of course feel free to share to share the stream on Facebook if you enjoy it. Yeah, hope that I'm not too late with all of you. I, you know, I said 8:30 to 8:45, and now it's I went live at I don't know 8:50. I still can't you know pull it off to be uh, to be in time. But today actually I was at the hairstylist a bit later that evening, and I hope I hope it will look fine. <laughs> yeah. And later then, I believe towards the end, I will um, play the Eric Principe, or I might play it, you know, before, like somewhere in between. I'll still have to think about it. Yeah, so I really like the drop. Really, it's groovy, catchy, you get instantly, you know, into the bass line. Very catchy as well, so... Absolutely great job here, great job here by uh, Daniel. And of course, congrats on, you know, being uh, licensed to the Tour Room compilation. Because it's both on the Tour Room compilation, it was released on Format B's label, Formatic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic baseline. And I got one more of this compilation. Uh, the track is called uh, Everybody, and it's by Re Redux Saints and Mr. Oz. And I like, oh, of course, this goes, you know, very long into the outro and really takes the time, you know, to finish the track and everything. Um, Martin also joined. Thank you so much. And before I carry on, I need, of course, to share the link also on uh, Twitter. Because I know some people are also watching over on Twitter, so... Um, I'll head over. And of course, Martin, your track will also be a topic tonight, later then. So, but first, maybe I will... Uh, I'll play the next track. 
I mean, like, you know, like, the, 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 the problems were, of course, the links, because the tracks are already set up for me, everything is, you know, like, ready, because I don't play it, you know, I play it off my kind of library, like, music library, so this is basically not an issue. Um, but, you know, the issue is, of course, the links, and I hope that I'm uh, better prepared today, and uh, I'll try to, um, I'll see whether this is easier for me, or, um, I'm sure it will be easier, but it depends on, you know, how much, because it's also an effort for me to do this, let's say, before the show, like, one, uh, like, maybe an hour before the show, or the day before, just like did yesterday, basically, I was long as tired, basically, and exhausted from today, the weather was so, I don't know, strange. Everybody, also fantastic uh, techie one. So let's get a bit into it. And Sep is also watching. Thank you so much. Wow. I guess I wasn't uh, promising too much. <clears throat> too much. Redux Saints. Jason is one of the producers, together with Mr. Oz. But I'm not sure whether I will uh, find him because there are many Mr. Oz's. And I would have to look for, like, which I don't, I don't see who, which one is which, is which. But this one, this thing, of course, I will have also to check because, to double check. Oz has, you know, a lot to do with Australia and all that. But Payman is also watching, thanks a lot. And Pat. Thank you all guys for joining. Hope you're having fun tonight. Yeah, it's really this guy. Yeah. We need to like it as well. It'll be easier for me then. And Mr. Oz is 190 likes, so you should definitely support him. He produces such fantastic tech house. Great of Saints, Mr. Oz, everybody on the Tour Room compilation. And the link to Spotify is also there. such an insane groove. I like also the um, build-up FX here. It's very well. It's a bit of a contrast. The effect goes for yeah over six minutes, so very fine. And then there comes the drop. Really enjoy that. Really gets me into the mood. Tell me what you like about it, because I enjoy it very much so far. Yeah, what I also will play tonight are a few tracks by Roch. Um, I'll have two in a row, I believe. And I have the new Alessa one coming up, it's also a fantastic track, new Alessa remix, uh, where actually I was very happy that I that I heard it. Yeah, and then, and then later on, of course, the Pride EP. Uh, that I will talk in deep about it. I will also upload it to the um, YouTube later then. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, that event is watching over on Instagram. Thanks so much for joining. Hope you enjoy the music as well. Yeah. Tell me what you like about the track, or do you think this is a bit too monotonous? Because I actually have no idea what you like and what you don't like. Because I enjoy that a lot. Now we have again this little uh, kind of fill up effects here. It's absolutely fantastic. So really many many elements with the bass line, with the, um, the drums and everything that fits so well together. Fairly bass line. I'm so in love with these bass lines, really on these three instances. So you should definitely uh, check out the Two Room User compilation because there are actually three mixes on it. We've got the poolside mix, the main mix and the after club mix. 
and they're all fantastic. So Tulum is always, you know, on top of the game when it's about the um, the compilations. Really incredible. I always love, you know, to, to like kind of sing the melody of the bass line because it's so rare. <laughs> Where I can do that. But when, I, when, when I'm able to do that, this is absolutely fantastic because then the track is really good. Yeah. So that's that. Redux Saints and Mr. Alls with everybody out now in the tool room. Uh, or like part of the tool room compilation. Uh, up next, now it's going to get a bit progressive, I would say, is um, the track All In. And there are actually four um, producers that produce the original. It's uh, Fatum, Genix, JTAG, and Judah. And this is the remix by Raj. And uh, I really enjoy the track. I really like it. It has a cool progressive vibe to it. It also takes over six minutes. It's absolutely a fantastic one, so let's enjoy this one together. The drop comes in. So and this sets basically the vibe for the for the Eric Pritz EP later then. I know that maybe not all of you are into, are into his music, but I am actually a lot and I believe I will hopefully um, show very well later then why he's I believe one of the most fantastic producers. I like in general, um, like one of the best producers that actually I know is about electronic music in general because he's so, you know, has his own. Sorry, no, he has like his own style, his own kind of vibe on certain tracks. So this is absolutely, you know, fantastic to, um, to listen to. Yeah, and I believe the second drop is even a bit better on this one. I heard the track yesterday for the first time and thought, wow, this is really, that has some power to it. And some kind of also melancholic vibes. Also, the breakdown is very great with these kind of, it's almost like, uh, I would call again, uh, you know, these uplifting step, steps and it's almost so. But still kind of deep, so very interesting. Yeah, like the mix of these different sounds and how it sounds like. The melody here. That got me really. Fantastic. But I think the second track that I will play you is, I believe, even a better one. Uh, I enjoyed it at least even more this week. So also Roger guy to really look out for. He's in the game for kind of long already, I know him. But he's also producing fantastic progressive, so really check him out. So this is his remix of All In by Fatum, Genix, JTEC and Judah. Out, I believe, since yesterday on Anjuna Beats. Yeah, it's also like Anjuna Beats sound. You know, um, I was talking with um, Ellie from you from the UK, who's a huge uh, above and beyond fan, whether I, I like their music or not. Their show, I believe, are fine, but I've never been too much into above and beyond. Rather, I would say into Eric Fritz. Um, because they have kind of a bit of a different music, uh, on, like musical approach. Um, sometimes it's very enjoyable, sometimes less enjoyable, I would say, but in general, you know, it's, um, they play also a lot of progressive and release a lot of progressive, uh, um, house, so that's uh, then very enjoyable for me. Absolutely. So, and the second track that I want to play by, uh, by Raj this week is his track, I say, I, I got even in the, in the text section and interesting, okay? So I thought it's a bit techier than, than, the, than the other one that I will play. This one is more progressive. Maxime Lani with uh, Renaissance, uh, or Renaissance. I don't know how you pronounce it in English. Because it's both... Um, no, wait, in, in English it's called Enlightenment. Yeah, this is kind of the, the you know, the uh, um, era, you know, in the, like in, in art and everywhere. So, Renaissance or Renaissance, however you want to pronounce it. Either French or, or English. 
in the Rotch remix. So yeah, of course I will always play the extended mixes. Um, I believe where where I can, and the links might be a bit different from, from Spotify. Like on Spotify, I always write, you know, in the Spotify playlist, mixes may vary. It's very important because not every everything that I play is actually on. Um, on Spotify, I believe one or two tracks will be on SoundCloud. This one is another fantastic progress one. Rush has 52,000 likes, so yeah, really nice. Rush is watching Alisa, is over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining. Hope that you'll enjoy this episode. It's a bit, a bit progressive and a bit deep tonight. Like this one here by The Watch in the remix of. Maxime Lani uh, 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 Renaissance. Yeah, really enjoyable. When that came on, really, I was really attracted to, you know, to kind of relax and, you know, just enjoy the ride, basically. So, it's all about it. I believe this track is out on Electronic Elements. Let me check it quickly. I also have this here on my, yeah, it's Amada Music and I believe it's Electronic Elements because Amada Music just has, Spinning has a lot of, um, a lot of sub-labels. Yeah, I see that there's a uh, little interaction so far, so tell me what you think about the track because I'm, it's also what the PC cast is about, it's about, you know, talking with you about the tracks and this part was fantastic now. This really sets the vibe later for Eric Chris. Fantastic. Great idea here by Baroch. I hope that I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, absolutely great track. And also here we have the kind of steps that are, I believe, very crucial for him. Um, so he really, you know, takes the time to kind of play the theme in the breakdown with these uh, chords. Absolutely wonderful. I know that you do you know more about Roch, so I need to check him quickly. Because he's doing absolutely fantastic music and I definitely want to support that. I love, you know, how he builds up, you know, the main synth again. You can hear that very well, like, uh, on, um, on the, uh, like, on the, uh, like, in the break, in the breakdown already. Okay, he's on there since 2013. So, and we just heard the beat deep aside with all in. Now we are in kind of the more progressive side again. Yeah, he's from Amsterdam, by the way, so he's from um, from Holland. They're one of the little guys that really make true progressive kind of. Wow, fantastic! favorite word today, but that describes it very well. Really, the vibe that it sets, the mood that I get from it. It's a bit, you know, kind of deeper-ish, but still very danceable and, uh, yeah. Yes, you know, great work on the synth as well. Very well mixed. Uh, all the tracks today have been, you know, very, very well mixed so far. And then I got two, two bit deeper songs, I would say. And then, um, and then two bit, I don't know, a bit um, more uh, groovier ones, like a, a melodic one and then a groovier one. And then two again, like progressive one, a melodic one. Yeah, and then I'll uh, slowly will head over to Eric Fritz. This track is absolutely fantastic. So you can hear the uh, elements, um, or like the, the, the arrangement very well, that really sort of, sort of the arrangement for the track. So at least if you're watching, uh, feel free to say something, hi or something. You as well, Kevin also joined. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah. 
Tim, what do you think about the track so far? A very progressive selection this week, but um, I'm actually very happy that I found some really, in my opinion, sick tracks that really deserve uh, support. And this also uh, goes for the next track. This is called um, uh, uh, Hustlers, and it's by uh, Joss and Ellie. So this one is progressive to the max. Absolutely fantastic one. So I enjoy, I love already like kind of the intro of the track because uh, it sets the, um, it sets the vibe, you know, for the whole track basically. Thanks for the love, Alisa. I love you back. <laughs> um, hope that you're enjoying your uh, evening. Okay. So. And this is definitely a track that I want to support because I heard this this week and I was instantly in love. They basically have a whole EP out. Ghost and Ellie with Hustlers. And this is out on um, on their on the label, let me check, because I can't remember. I'm, I'm happy that I remember the track basically because I have a lot of tracks to basic. And believe it or not, this is also out on uh, Amada Electronic Elements. Um, and I enjoy this a lot. So, uh, oh no, no, wait. Am I am I right? No, I'm, I'm I messed it up a bit. Sorry. Is it on? The, yeah, it, it is still on electronic elements. So I'm right. Okay. Just I got I got then one more. So electronic elements is really taking over this week. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, they also used a very interesting um, a very interesting. Um, Sample where they, um, there's one guy talking about um, drugs or something. Or he knows 18 year old kids that do drugs or drive Mercedes. We'll, we'll just um, we'll just hear it in a bit. Mercedes is also well German. It is, it is somehow chopped. Yeah. So Alisa loves it and she would, uh, she would have needed the music for a three hour car drive. Yeah. And uh, have you still heard the auto guitar? Have you been driving today? Yeah, it really calms you down. But you can, you know, that's what I love so much about progressive. That's why the love of progressive is the strongest, I believe, for me. Because you can, on one hand, uh, enjoy it, you know, just relax to the music, but you can fully kind of get, you know, dance, dance your ass off. And this is what this is the magic of progressive for me. So I been I believe I've stressed uh, uh, stressed it very often already on the music cast, but I can't stop repeating it because it's so true. And uh, you know, everybody has you know his like like his magic, you know, around certain uh, tracks. For certain genres, and for me, progressive is really something that you need to get into it. So that's why it's very hard to present also on a PC cast because it's not about the big drops, you know, it's not about, uh, you know, 30 seconds and it's all over. It's really something to, to you know, something for, for, for Cartwright, for example, which is what uh, Alisa just mentioned. So yeah, absolutely enjoyable. Happy, happy. And also when you like have the same sample over and over again, absolutely fantastic. So uh, if, if you, how you know that if you are into progressive, I can recommend um, uh, so much love to give by uh, Thomas Bangardier. So because it's it's kind of it, it it repeats so much love to give like 300 times. And also, uh, Fede Le Grand did a, or um, Stadium X did a rework of this in, I believe, 2012 and 2016. Um, so this, and the original is basically kind of Thomas Bangor. Actually, he sent, it's not the original because he sampled it as well, but uh, I believe the original is called Love, it's such a wonderful thing. But I can't, can't remember the, the artist. No, I just don't have to look it up. Because so much love to give is from 2002. Yeah, Stevie is watching over on Instagram. Thanks so much for joining. Progressive night tonight, I would say. Yeah, and it's actually a fantastic sample. Joss and Ellie 
Hustlers, really huge recommendation. You should definitely check it out. It's also in my Spotify playlist that I share at the end of the busy cast. Yeah, and I got one more that is a bit um, a bit deeper, but still very enjoyable. Um, After you with uh, um, Dash and B, I would say, it's pronounced, and it's also on electronic elements. So they really came up with some fantastic uh, tracks. So it's still progressive, but also has some kind of techno elements to it. So let's check it out together. Yeah, it's kind of a mix of techno and proc. I really enjoy that. So you know, it's very cool to mix up genres as well. So yeah, and I believe it's it's very great that I kind of support uh, artists today that are not that are not really into, into the spotlight. And I already feel that I enjoy preparing uh, the tracks for the busy cast because it's really it's it's much faster. I don't have to look for the link and everything. I have everything in my words document. Yeah, as, as TV, tell me what you like about the track. There are also viol- violence uh, violence in there. So it's a mix of proc, techno, and violence, and some uh, toms in between. There's also another baseline coming up. And the next drop is also very interesting. This one. Maybe it's the next one. I don't know. Like that, that was a very interesting drop there. I think it's the second one now. Yeah. That has also a breakdown when we hear the, the strings there. So I don't know where, where this from. I don't know whether it's samples or they made it themselves. But yeah, it sounds absolutely fantastic. It's definitely enjoy it. Yeah, and up next, my favorite track of the week, can wait, but we'll enjoy this uh, drop first. After you, uh, Dushanbi. Because it has kind of a techno drop, I would say. Second one. <laughs> kind of a deep house-ish techno drop. Very enjoyable. So it's really Amada Electronic Elements Takeover. <laughs> tonight, but I will later then also talk about Eric Fritz and this fits so well because the music I can, I can imagine listening to this in a Eric Fritz set. So, yeah, absolutely cool. Okay, that's that. That's after you, Dushan B, other electronic elements. And really, the, these strings are really up until the end of the outro. Absolutely interesting. really here and then at the end they just faded out track seven minutes long so really really enjoyable so uh, i believe the spotify is i'm not sure whether spotify has this as an extended mix but like the the, the edit it doesn't give the track justice so you should definitely uh, check the, check out the, the the full track if you have like the if you can i, I believe it's definitely somewhere on youtube also somewhere so yeah feel free to check it out yeah up next my favorite of the of the week Absolutely, because I still, although I enjoy progressive a lot, it's also for me about melodies. Um, you can see it very well on my love for third party. Uh, I believe my favorite DJs, both uh, music wise and also kind of person wise. Uh, like when we were there, I don't know, I'm not sure whether Alisa is still watching, but Alisa can definitely confirm that, that they're absolutely down to earth. We have like, we had an instant connection, all three or four of us. The word uh, and uh, and we could really like talk very nicely about um, about the scene, about the tracks and everything. So yeah, absolutely cool guys. And that's why I'm happy that Alesso is back on track with this absolutely fantastic track called uh, "Set Song" by Alesso. And then I got uh, I got I got by the way I got I totally forgot about one certain track that I just came up with. Was, I'll play this one after this. Um, so I really enjoy um, I really enjoy uh, the the vocal of this track a lot. It's actually a very emotional one. And actually, my favorite part is, is coming up, basically, with the, um... It's 
song, but you make it so happy. He's singing a sad song, but you make it so happy. I never actually thought about that you can actually, uh, you know, think about uh, lyrics like that. And now the build-up is coming up, and I'm getting so excited for this one. I believe it's even better on 124 BPM. And now here comes the drop. The melody is absolutely fantastic. But it's like, like if Alexa was never gone, really. So enjoyable. Absolutely fantastic. The only issue that I have, like, the drop is only 30 seconds long. But it's really uplifting. I'm really feeling the melody, the bass line. It really fits very well. It could have been, I don't know, a bit happier mixed, I would say. But in general, uh, so enjoyable that I actually haven't enjoyed an Alessa track for such a long time. I'm really honest. And up next, actually, or maybe I'll uh -huh, play maybe a bit of this. Alessa featuring Teeny's set song, the Alessa remix. The original was a bit, you know, a bit, yeah, a bit um, too to calm down for me, and now he's really back to his kind of old roots, like, I don't know, um, Heroes, As If I Lose Myself remix, to, in my eyes, my favorite track of him, so yeah, it's really building up again, yeah, absolutely so, so it sounds absolutely fantastic, and uh, uh, I heard this, and I thought, wow, uh, actually, it was released already, I believe, two weeks ago? really has this uplifting Alessio feeling. I love uh, singing the melody. I'm such a melody singer, basically. So, uh, I don't know whether Alisa... Uh, you caught me singing the melody of uh, Have No Fear. Get, like by third party, because the melody of have no, uh, have no Fear melody is so complex. Uh, but it's, it has repetitive elements, but like the melody goes for 32 bars, which is very, very long for you. Uh, usually they repeat up to 16 bars or up to 8 bars. Or maybe it's 8 bars and 16 bars, I don't know. But I believe Have No Fear has like the, the, the best melody, I believe, for progressive tracks for sure. Yeah, and uh, one track that I totally forgot, uh, Crydo released a new track, I believe because it was so quiet around the release that I actually didn't even realize it. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course I have the track here, and it's called Get Funky. Uh, he produced it together with Fast Eddie, and uh, it was released on Friday on Musical Freedom, and I totally kind of forgot to um, to kind of add this to my play. I, I don't know for, for whatever reason. Um, it kind of, it, it was under the radar, I don't know, it's, 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 it happens somehow, but now I got it here, and I got the link to it as well, and uh, now you're gonna see me jacking, because this is probably one of my uh, favorite uh, Cryo, definitely my favorite Cryo track this year, for sure, so far, uh, let me just check what the list is, there we go, Cryo and Fast Eddie with Get Funky, absolutely fantastic uh, uh, release. And a very enjoyable one. So try that. And I'm not sure what a pulse it is on Facebook, but let me check. Uh, I'm not sure, so I'll just leave them out. But uh, the baseline work on this one is absolutely dope. So I need more people watching right now because this track is absolutely fantastic, and you still see me jacking right now. This it's time to get funky. It's time to get funky. It's time to get funky. It goes on and on. It's time to get funky. It yeah. yeah. And it goes on and on. And then when the drop comes, I'll go my Jimmy. Because when I first heard it, when I got it, I was wow, so flash. 
So now it's really time to get funky. Enough of the progressive for tonight. For now. This bass line is so out of this world. This guy is, fant is so phenomenal when it's about bass lines in general. And also uh, you know, playing around with the uh, drums and everything. So he's really groove up throughout, you know. I know Chris, we know each other for so long already and I believe I was never disappointed by him. I believe, well, now I remember the first set that I ever saw from him in, back in 2014 in Vienna when he played Animals and I thought, why, why am I playing this? And, and uh, El Rat by LRI by Night Party. So, proper big, big group back then. But he played then also as well um, an evil uh, Walter White Heisenberg edit. And the one who knocks, maybe. It was the second uh, Susumi release. The first one was Tarzan. Tarzan. And now he's actually here, so with this, uh, this kind of music. But it actually still has kind of this, this, this groovy uh, feeling, so. Musical Freedom is actually a great uh, home for that. But I believe. I don't criteria would have been better. What is the huge difference now? I don't know. But yeah. Absolutely fantastic music. Time to get funky to get back. Oh. Fantastic. I haven't heard this on a, on a festival yet. I can, I can imagine like, I don't know, a few people, you know, maybe a thousand like dancers checking this kind of bass line. And everybody's screaming in the mic, you're so sexy today or tonight. <laughs> yeah, absolutely fantastic track. So, thank you so much, Chris, for this one. Very appreciated. Can't stop listening to this. For some reason, I kind of forgot it. Maybe I, I didn't. I didn't look in one folder, I believe. And then I, because I had, I had like only like progressive tracks in my head, and then I forgot about this, this fantastic um, groovy one. So yeah, thanks a lot, Chris. And yeah, I'm waiting for Rusty Trombone. This one of his IDs. This one ID that he played. This he's playing with Cola in his set, and uh, and so many others. Hans Zimmer, Interstellar, Bootleg, with music is the answer. Uh, Moonlight Party haven't played in ages. Haven't heard in ages. Actually, well, it, it it was played like I don't know two or three criteria ago again. But this will never be released, I guess. But I haven't heard this in a long, long time. So, yeah. Fantastic that the, that the track is not totally dead, I would say. Uh, yeah. So, that's that. And I have one more fantastic... Um, oh my god, I'm using this word too often today. Sorry, guys. Uh, but uh, really enjoyable uh, track by Essentials and uh, J... Um, I don't know, Jake... Yaxx, I believe. This was out on uh, on Sunny James and Marciano's label, Sono, and it's called uh, Skanka. It has a very groovy um, synthy slash bass line in between the, the drops, so very very enjoyable. So let me ask the guys. It's not in the first. Yeah. But yeah, you will you, you'll know why in a bit. Absolutely great track. I really love this little sound there. Yeah, Yuri Alexander is the other producer. Come on. And this little sound makes up the whole track for me. Because so it's a really uh, techy track, nice to dance to, but you know, when you. Uh, 
when you listen to, to the track closely and then actually, you know, realize this little sound there, it's really great to listen to and uh, it makes me dance, really. So, once again a drop. So in my list here, I got four more tracks to go, and then I'll head over to the Eric Prince EP. Come on. I can really, you know, kind of, you know, get fully into the track. This is so good. You know, I love when I engage, you know, with the track fully. It's so much fun. And now, of course, the bass line as well. So sick. The breakdown is rather short, but then it goes back to the top. Cool. Uh, really something you can really get fully engaged in. Yeah. So that's that. Essentials and JX. JX, how you pronounce it? With Tenka. Thank you so much, guys. These beauty, for this beauty. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, four more. One now is actually coming up a bit progressive one, but a very great one. So I, I uh, discovered it just yesterday. It's called uh, Ushuaia and it's by Lee Coulson. It's on the, uh, I don't know the label's name, but it's on Mion uh, 54 label, label, I believe. I'll quickly check this. But it's a really enjoyable, progressive one. Give me a second. Yeah. yeah the label is called Right Rec uh, yeah, Right Recordings, and it's by uh, Mayon. Mayan. And the, this one Mayan from Mayan and Shane 54 that I believe they uh, parted ways now, unfortunately. Mini's watching. Thank you so much for joining me if you're over on Instagram. Just in time for a very nice progressive one. A really cool song with Ushuaia out on Right Records, Right Recordings. Yeah, it's a really cool track. It has a very nice build up. And that really drops. It's really power to it. Absolutely fantastic. So it seems like the progressive is not very, you're not too much into it, but that's fine. Maybe some of you will watch afterwards and then, you know, you know get, get, get in love with this kind of music. Very nice one. I know the drop it goes like for two and a half minutes. I'm oh, sorry, for one and a half minutes. The track also for over six minutes, so really something to enjoy. Really, can you really, you know, put put this on like a few tracks in a row? And you got like one hour, you know, left. This is kind of the music that I really fell in love with. That's that. Uh, Nicholson with Bushwire. Let's uh, check a little bit on the breakdown. Yeah, tell me what you think about um, about uh, the tracks so far. We haven't actually uh, talked much yet, so I've like, written much yet. So I would really love to have some interaction. It's so much more fun. Yeah, and then I got. Uh, I didn't use, I didn't use my uh, WhatsApp, sorry for that. Some people are writing me, I don't know why. Yeah, that's that. Absolutely great, really has also a bit of these Anjuna vibes there. Mix of Deep and Tech, uh, sorry, uh, Deep and Proc. 
very cool. Really love the sneer. To really get into it. But talking about sneers, we'll uh, talk about it in a bit. When we'll be talking about Pride Up. The new Pride IP. Just have like three more tracks to go and then I'll um, talk about the Pride IP a bit more because uh, it has it has eight tracks and I really took some effort to, um, to do a bit of research on it. Yeah. But in general, absolutely great track and Very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that's Lee Coulson with Ushuaia. And up next, I'll play something a bit more melodic, I would say. Something a bit more, um, some would say EDM, but I don't like to say a lot more EDM. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Anthony. Is watching. Thanks you so much for joining in. And uh, the tracks that I, the track that I'm gonna play now is uh, one on Spinning uh, Next Generation or Spinning Next, however the, the label is called. <coughs> the track is called Colors and it's by Alice. There's a very cool melody to it. Um, I know the mixing is a bit loud, but um, I'll I won't pay too much attention to this. So just ignore it and enjoy the track. Maybe it's it's not it's not as bad. No. There's a bit of the hexagon vibes, I would say. Sometimes I even enjoy listening to something like this. You know, it it all depends on my mood. That's why I want to give you you know an overview of uh, of all the tracks that I enjoyed uh, over the last week. I really can't can wait to um, talk about. Talk about the Pride and Keys is really something, something fantastic you don't want to miss. Yeah, you can really hear very well the, uh, uh, the hexagon vibes here. Uh, 20 years old from UK, from London, UK, obviously. It's really cool, twenties, cool melodies. So, also, you know, very creative. Uh, mix it up a bit, you know, with the melodies and everything. So, yeah. Now let's fill up again. It's a bit of a short track from the um, other ones. But tell me what you think about it. If you're watching right now. Very enjoyable one, I would say. So, what else is there to play? Yeah. The next track is unfortunately not on Spotify. I'll check whether it's it's on already or not yet. No, unfortunately not on Spotify, but I found it on SoundCloud and I thought I would give it definitely a go. Uh, it's a track by uh, Almero and uh, this is um, the track called Stockholm. So I'll need to change now the folder where I got this. And then after that I have one more by my buddy um, Martin that I met in Stockholm. I can't open for longer already. So this one is only on SoundCloud, unfortunately, but I will definitely, um, I want to give this a go. It's another progressive one, but you know, it's absolutely, it's just fantastic music, that's why, I don't know why you um, actually not, at least to my taste, not enjoying it so much. New track Stockholm out on our Rise Records. And so far, I only found a SoundCloud link, so hope that it will be released also on Spotify. 
mix of prog and deep again, so it's really... I could actually do a whole set with this, with this kind of music tonight. Very enjoyable. I love how, you know, it mixes the melody with the kick and the bass line, then with a few of X's, or actually this is kind of a hi-hat, I would say. Sounds at least like it. Very cool. So you should definitely check this one out, Almero Stockholm. This is on SoundCloud. So enjoyable, wow. Absolutely fantastic. This sets basically all vibe perfectly for the upcoming Friday EP that I'll uh, analyze, uh, I believe in detail, I would say, uh, because there's so much great music on this EP and uh, very, very diverse as well, so really can wait to talk about this. Love really can enjoy it, you know fully. Don't have to. I probably I won't be flagged for this, so very fine. And it has basically three drops, which is also rare nowadays. Daniel is watching. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Just in time for um, Almero and his track Stockholm. It's out now on Arise Records. So I'm sure you know the guys from Arise. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this one too. Hope to see you during ADE, by the way. Wow. This uplifting feeling, really cool. Really, makes me, makes me kind of, you know, look out for the stars. Wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Then I go to the outro. I should listen to this way more. Way more. Actually, I believe I've heard it three times already because I, I just discovered this, I believe, yesterday or two days ago. I haven't had really time to get into it, so that's why well, it's also great to also share the feelings with you. So, this is also something that I do rarely on the PC cast because sometimes I know the tracks like by heart already, sometimes I heard it maybe three times. And then I don't know like every single element because maybe you know I didn't pay close attention. You know, I had to do it. usually you know when I'm I listen to music sometimes at work, sometimes you know when I'm going to somewhere or in the car, then I cannot you know properly listen to all the elements there. So yeah, I'm very you know also thankful that this platform also you know um, that with this platform can also show you a bit of my feelings with the music because music always you know has to do with feelings and how you how you react on certain sounds and. Um, I believe, I hope that I do this very well in this PC cast. Yeah, last track before the um, Pride EP is now Our Season with uh, Nicodemus out on uh, Low Records, labeled by Martin. So thanks a lot, Martin, for this one. It's a bit different, that's why I played uh, at the end. But I'm interested also what your uh, feelings about this is. Look where how the guys are called, but it says it's a, basically a very beautiful vocal. Oh, I believe that the producer called me Cadenis. Okay, this is this 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 beat. Oh, I wasn't paying close attention. Give me, give me a second. Nicodemus is the is the producer called. Okay, I, I wasn't I wasn't aware of this. I thought it was called uh, our season. <laughs> Sorry, it was it was just a, just a mess up. Yeah, Nicodemus music, 300 likes. You should definitely support him. So thanks to Matt 
Film. Geraldsen, thanks for this one. Beautiful vocal, so I'm interested in how uh, Nika came up with the vocal. Because they're really beautiful to listen to. And Uh, kind of bit chill out, mix of um, I know future based correct term to, to to describe this. I don't know. Let's just flip this around. Sometimes you know I don't have time to really like kind of see it properly. It has still kind of a house vibe, so it's not really too much future face. That's why I enjoyed it, it's still kind of a bit of a house and dark there. Yeah, now the proper part. This guy's coming up now, Eric Fritz. Uh, I got all the links and I will talk in deep about him. Yeah, but thanks a lot, Martin, for this one. What it is. There we go. Beautiful track. And also the ending is a little bit cool because you kind of end up with an effect and then it's over. Okay, now it's time for um, the Eric Pritz um, Pride of 15 EP Volume 2, as I've already mentioned a couple of times. So, um, I hope that some of you people may uh, watch it later, or then, of course, also on YouTube. So, um, as I've already mentioned, I did a bit of research on, on this one, because I, I saw my uh, latest, um, or maybe some of you also saw it on YouTube, my latest, or my kind of last um, review, and I didn't pay too much attention on uh, when the tracks were released and everything, and I wanted to do this a bit... Um, a bit uh, more focused on uh, on the on the tracks uh, themselves because uh, what's so interesting about Eric Pritz is that his release schedule is very uh, unregular <laughs> maybe if you we put it very um very in neutral words so the first track on this on this 8 track EP so the volume 2 of his Pride of 15 uh, so he's celebrating 15 years of Pride is uh, the track Sonar so and Sonar uh, was so what if so Eric Pritz has a huge fan base basically, and uh, fans tend always to um, to ID to give the tracks uh, ID so so a name for the ID. So because uh, Eric, Pritz, Eric Pritz has so much unreleased music, um, we can actually uh, hear that you know see that very well. So. Um, yeah, the first track is Sonar, and as I've already mentioned, there's, there's basically so much, um, uh, so much, um, uh, so, so, like such a huge diversity in his tracks, and we can, you know, hear that very well. And um, so, Eric Pritz's tracks, you know, are maybe, yeah, they are progressive, of course, but very individual. So sometimes they really take some time to really get, you know, the spin they really deserve. And uh, this track was also played already in 2017 on Beats 1, episode 15. And I remember that uh, very well because I've listened to all the uh, Eric Prince Beats 1 uh, episodes. And uh, some of the tracks are really, uh, you know, um, have been played for a long, long time. So, and now there comes the baseline up for the number one, Sonar. We can already hear the baseline very well. And uh, yeah, so it's really a fantastic uh, track to, to start AP with. Yeah, I will come back over on Instagram in a bit, um, but I hope that you'll enjoy this uh, Prida uh, EP here with me uh, because he really came up with wicked sounds that basically only him can, can come up with. So yeah, I want just to quickly check whether it's on, so when this was played first time 
Because what's so uh, interesting about it is that um, uh, that uh, when I was uh, checking the, the IDs on Thousand One Tracklist yesterday, I um, I, uh, I I realized that uh, many of these tracks are not uh, tagged properly yet. So um, it's it's basically so so the, the the track is out already since Friday. But um, but the problem is that kind of that I couldn't actually find it on um, on Thousand One Tracklist. I would have really to type in the um, the I have to type in the ID name. So this is very unusual for a producer because it seems like that they haven't really you know came up with, like have really uh, completed everything yet. Yeah, and this track was. Um, they did minute 20 and was called back then Sonar ID 01. So, and uh, yeah, uh, when talking about the, the ID in, uh, in general, I would also um, refer here to the Eric Pritz uh, subreddit, and there are all the fans basically uh, coming together. And uh, the EP is really for many a masterpiece, so it's one of the best EPs that he's ever released. And uh, I'll play this and talk a bit about, about um, like my own opinion about it. And um, and I believe everybody can, you know, uh, make up their own um, kind of opinion about it. And I believe my opinion it's also very fantastic. But if I, for example, compare this to um, to uh, the Pride piece four years ago, Pride 10 back then. I enjoyed it, I don't know, personally a bit more. I mean, I still enjoy it, I still love his music, and it's very, you know, enjoyable to listen to, and especially, I believe, the Riddle is my favorite. And then later, the, um, and, and, um, the Riddle and Humlon, I believe, are my favorites. Uh, so, and one is a bit rougher, I would say. But we'll, we'll check this. Uh, Kaio is watching, thank you so much for joining, over on Facebook. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed Sonar, and um, it has really a weird, you know, mix of the sounds. Um, it's really coming up, you know, with some. Um, I can't even describe them. It's so. Um, it's here progressive, no heat. It's really something very uh, individual, um, something that only he came up with, and we can hear this very well. And I believe that's the magic around his music. So that really, you cannot really stick him into one. Um, into one uh, draw or another. Same term. So one. Uh, uh, pot or the other, so it's, it's really something uh, individual and he really stands for himself and that's also what his music says, I would say. So the next track is called From Within and it was uh, called like this from the beginning, so there's not really an ID name for this, but this, this track was already played in 2012, so um, we will have then music that was even released um, even uh, earlier or even more back uh, in time. And it was for the first time played, or the last time I believe, the uh, on his Epic Radio podcast, because you know he not only had the uh, Beats One uh, podcast for twenty episodes, but also well, I believe a bit more even. But also he had um, he had his uh, Prida, uh, his his Epic Radio show, Epic stands for Eric Prison Concert, and now he's basically focused around the, these Epic uh, five point or six point shows now that he's doing. And um, I was even talking, maybe some of you saw it on my Insta story with uh, Dennis about it, Dennis uh, aka Dian. Uh, he's a producer from Vienna, uh, producer and DJ, and uh, yeah, we're talking about it. And uh, he, he said, we were both um, saying that Eric Pritz is losing a lot of money on his shows. Um, but you know, he's just so, so, you know, he's so driven by, by, the, by the result. You know, in this one cube or, or I don't know, round uh, uh, kind of, I don't know, um, ball that he, he was in at, at Tomorrowland Weekend 1. This was absolutely fantastic to look. So really um, something, some eye candy. Um, there's something that's totally out of this world, I would say. And yeah, From Within is actually, so we can hear very well that the track is seven years old because um, maybe he, I don't know whether he was still, you know, mixing it a bit or not. Uh, on today's standard, maybe he like, doesn't need to. But it's a very progressive track. It really reminds me of the rather older Prida tracks. Yeah, from his uh, Prida, I believe I still have the album over there. Yeah, Eric Pritz presents Prida, the CD. 
Meanwhile, uh, Caleb is also watching. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoy From Within. So, it really took a long, long time to get this release, and it's very interesting to see that it's um, here now. So, we can, uh, yeah, I believe it's called From Within because the sample says it. So, I believe he's recording also the um, uh, vocal, uh, like Vox affixes himself. So, he's you know very individual when it's about that. Yeah, I love this kind of fish bass line. Wow. And yeah, it's not really something a track you can freak out to. I would say it's a very chill track. Um, wow. And I really love the, the bass line, how it, you know, goes here and there. Very cool. Meanwhile, uh, George is watching. Thanks so much for joining on Instagram and the next track that is on the EP is called The Riddle this is one that goes or like, like the outro goes now for I believe over one and a half minutes so it really takes the time to finish the tracks and yeah and of course on Spotify you can only find the original mixes so they go really for seven eight and six minutes and uh, yeah uh, so it's really something to, to enjoy for yourself and um, you can you can really get fully engaged with the full track. So this is what I love very much about Eric Pritz. Yeah, up next, The Riddle, as I've already mentioned. I believe one of my favorites, my personal favorites of this EP. Um, so it reminds me very much of Viro. So just like one, the, uh, uh, one um, uh, comment on um, on the Eric Pritz subreddit uh, was already um, like mentioned it. And I believe he mentioned this already two or three years ago when it was played for the last time. Because it was called back then the uh, Montreux Jazz ID. So Montreux Jazz seems like the, the venue where he played it for the first time. And I'm not sure whether I already dropped the... Uh, no, I haven't dropped the uh, From Within uh, link, so I would have to, to, to link it now. And then I'll link also the Riddle, the next track. So yeah, all in all, I mean, like, I, I enjoy the, P, the EP a lot, but, you know, um, maybe too little of a hardcore Pride of fan, although I am a hardcore Pride of fan, but maybe I'm not showing it as much, uh, because, you know, I'm not a huge fan of IDs, and I, oh yeah, we, we heard the, um, we heard the uh, typical Pride of X in the background, so I have here a note that it was released for the first time. I played for the first time at the Epic Radio podcast number seven back in 2013. So we can already hear as well that this is absolutely a long, long time. So it took six years to get this released. Actually insane. We can hear the Pride of Ixus here very well. So it seems like he only came up with this with these ones. And we have this typical Pride of Singer, so you can really go fully Pride of Mode on this one, as I, as I mentioned it a couple of times. Du -du -du. Bass line is absolutely fantastic. So you can, you can you just, you know, stick, stick yourself on the bass line. The, whole, the drop goes for exactly two and a half minutes. So we have a short breakdown of 30 seconds in between, but the drop goes for two and a half minutes. And this is something typical for Pride of. So the whole track is nine minutes long, so um, it really takes the time, you know, to enjoy it for him and for us. So it's absolutely cool. And we hear this typical um, from Power Drive. He used the same kind of fixes. He came up with a new sound. So he's really like he he is kind of progressive. So he really um, it takes the time to build up the, the elements. Something that all Pride of Years will, will know, of course, but I like to stress that. So, but the synthy that he kind of built up over the last one and a half minutes on the breakdown is now also fully in the drop. So, absolutely great work here by Eric, and um, you know, what, what will I say much about it? I mean, As I've already mentioned, uh, the next track I'm gonna play is uh, Humlan or Hamlan. Uh, that was previously known as Queen 2010 ID. But maybe let's finish this one here. Absolutely wonderful work here by 
I Fritz the Riddle, aka Montreal Jazz ID, finally released for us to enjoy. Yeah. I also like the outro that's really taking out the time to finish the track, also without the beat. So cool. Yeah. Up next, I've already mentioned uh, Humlan or Hamlin, um, and this was uh, called uh, the Queen 2010 ID. So it seems like it was uh, played for the first time already back in 2010. I believe I, I couldn't find the uh, um, uh, the link, but I, it, it was played already um, once again, like once again on um, the Beats One Eric Press show number 15 in 2017. And when I was looking for it on 1001 Tracklist, it is not. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why I couldn't I couldn't find this on 1001 Tracklist because this is not even tagged as an individual ID. So I, w I really had to look up, you know, the um, the Eric, Eric Pritz subreddit for for the Queen 2010 ID, and then I looked uh, through um, for when it was played, and then I uh, and I found found in the, on the subreddit then it was played on Beats uh, on the Beats One show number 15 in 2017. I looked up the tracklist on the 1001 tracklist, and I see there that the Queen uh, 2010 ID is black. And it's not red. So when when someone is black on a thousand tracklist means that it's not having its own the track is not having its own page, you know, and known its own sub page for for the track. So it's really something for the connoisseurs, as we say in, in French, um, really for the for the lovers, you know. And it's really kind of a jungle adventure vibe to it, as someone mentioned already. So absolutely, you know, I believe my favorite one, I believe the most genius track on the, or genuine track on the, on the EP. And uh, someone was even asking on, on, on the subreddit, uh, you know, where's my Humlan mm, squad at? Something like this, because uh, many, many people love it so much. Known as the Queen 2010 ID. And it's really like I like I like I love these kind of um, whatever that is I don't know xylophone or um, uh, or simply some some bells that are playing there absolutely cool. And here comes the drop. I love I love the kick because the kick is very clicky. That's what you know gives it gives it you know the room for these kind of bells to play. So. Absolutely brilliant. Well, brilliant is nothing nothing else I can say about this track. Because like production wise it's so, you know, out of this world. Really I'm in space, you know, when listening to this basically. Or the jungle. Can um That's why I'm happy that I can, you know, tell you so much about it. So I'm, I'm way better prepared than for the last review, that's why I'm very happy about it. And now there comes another bass line on minute five. And something, 5.15 I would say. For the next drop. <laughs> Reminds me very much of Bussen. Bussen had also like a fantastic second layer on the drop. So great job here, Eric, great job. I hope that one day I will see you on a um, Holosphere show. It would be a huge dream of mine. Somehow it never worked out that I could go to London uh, when he was playing or Tomorrowland. This is absolutely a fantastic track. Nothing, nothing I can add to this. Yeah, four more tracks to go on this EP. I believe, yeah. So you should definitely check out the whole EP, it's absolutely wonderful to listen to and really uh, a journey, a journey through Eric's um, music and um, I really like that he really closes, you know, he gives the track also a great um, frame, you know, he starts off with an intro and then and then he kind of he finishes, you know, with the same soon as it was in the drop and then just, you know, without the bass line and, you know, really takes the time to finish the track then filters this out a bit at the end. Absolutely fantastic. Also, like production-wise, uh, arrangement-wise, he's such a genius, you know. And sometimes, you know, it's the it's the little things, you know, that also gets you very excited for a track. And this time, it's both the big and the and the little things, I would say. Uh, up next is the track Legacy, and the track Legacy 
is um, is called a Sonar ID 02. So this was uh, the the other Sonar IP that was played. And uh, yeah, a Legacy is kind of a tough. Um, I don't know how to, how to phrase this. A, a tough um, name for me for, for a track because. I already got, uh, you know, um, the legacy track by Eric Fritz, for example, as uh, no, sorry, by by Nicky Romero, or that also cried did an amazing remix of this, by the way, a couple of years ago, and and also one of my favorite German rappers named also track Legacy. Uh, yeah, uh, Mola is watching over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining. Just in time for Prida Legacy. I'm just, you know, in the um, in the in my, in my review of um, Eric Pritz's uh, Pride of 15, Volume 2 EP. So, great if you tune in, Mauricio. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out, what's so fantastic about Legacy. And this was played both on Eric, on the Beach One Eric Pritz show 13 and 18. So, in 2017 and I believe even in 2018. So, this one is a bit more on the radar for the Eric Pritz fans. So the intro is already two minutes long, so this is very rare nowadays. And then he comes up with this uh, yet another great bass line and violence. You can hear this very well here. Wow, so the mix of the violence and the bass line is something out of this world. Like I'm, I'm speechless, I'm totally speechless and I'm rarely speechless. And it sounds so good. How does he do that? Such a surprise. Absolutely great EP so far. Yeah. So maybe I can read some more um, shoutouts from um, not shoutouts, I mean like comments. So, you know, uh, so someone, someone was right because I was my Hamlin clan. So then someone was saying that he released, uh, that he uh, removed a note somewhere. So, some some of the tracks were uh, bringing him back to Holo, uh, Holosphere London. One track slaps very hard. So. Some would play a track for 20 minutes on repeat, so it's, they're really into it, and I'm, I'm into it as well. So, uh, by the way, Humlan means uh, bubble bee in Swedish. I didn't even know. Wow. Cool. So he's also released, like, he's also naming uh, tracks after, after, um, after an animal. So. And then up onto the last drop of Legacy. Wow, also hit another very deep one. So yeah, a bit unexpected, but still fits very well. Also like with these kind of, you know, drums and, uh, and I believe it was bongos or whatever there, there is. So very cool to listen to with the hi-hat as well. Fully proud of. So absolutely fantastic track. So and um, yeah, up next, there we have the track uh, Villa Mercedes, and this track is, I believe, the the oldest one, at least uh, from what I found. So let me just uh, start playing it. Uh, did I drop Legacy? Yeah. So Legacy was known as the Sonar ID02, and uh, Villa Mercedes was already known like this um, for since the beginning. And it has absolutely fantastic vocal effects. Mm. Yeah, it was it was known as Villa Mercedes 2009 ID because the first time he played it was at the Villa Mercedes Club in Athens back on uh, I believe uh, the seventh of April 2009. 2009. The track is over 10 years old and got released just this Friday. And he played this track already also, like, it's not the only time he played it, he played it also at Cafe Mambo in 2015. And uh, back in, like, in August 2015, and that was then re, um, 
uh, uh, you know, rebroadcasted on uh, Beats One show number one. Because number one, I remember that very well, was um, the first hour was fantastic. It played all the tracks from his upcoming album and also these tracks, like uh, like one hour of Cafe Mambo. Cafe Mambo set. Yeah, Louis is watching, aka okay, Stevie, thank you so much for joining. Also here. I'm on the, the last three tracks now of today. The um, uh, Prida 15 EP Volume 2. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic track, but we can hear that it's really it's a bit of an older sound design, I would say. It, it doesn't mean it's bad, you know, it's just, you know, it's a bit different from, for example, um, uh, legacy what we just heard. So, um, or Humland, it has a very clicky kick. Although it's from 2000, or oh, well, the riddle sounds something that had a very clicky kick. So, what I what you know reminded me very much of it. So, yeah, so absolutely fantastic track to, uh, to really, um, yeah. Sounds like like an 80s synth, you're right, yeah. Maybe that's what it's, why it sounds so kind of different. This part is also very fantastic. It's mixing up, you know, the melody here a bit. Yeah. So yeah. So then actually, uh, it's a bit. It's a, it's it's, it's a bit the shortest for the track. It's, it's, it has six minutes. And then it kind of fades out into um, into an outro. So it's getting um, quiet off. So it's really filtering out the whole track. But the vocal effects is so fascinating. I'm interested where um, Eric is singing it himself. It sounds um, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, you know, very unique and uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, Villa Mercedes, and up next, uh, two tracks left on the CP, the Hayden, or the Hidden, however you wanna, you wanna, however you wanna pronounce it. Uh, the Hidden was called uh, the um, the High Ibiza ID, I believe. Yeah, High Ibiza ID. And uh, this is the roughest track of the EP, very interesting, this is the second to last. So, yeah. And um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I believe yeah, I believe one of my one of my favorites. I believe as well. So so this was a played as I mentioned on High Ibiza in uh, in so it was one of the tracks in 2017 that he played a lot. So he played it at High in, in, on Ibiza. He played it at Tomorrowland in 2017 and on the uh, Beat One. Eric Fritz show as well, episode 14 and 18. So we can already hear that from the Sunti, it's a bit the, it's the roughest of all of them, I believe. Yeah, so we can already, this is something, a, tra a sound that's more, more familiar with uh, Prida, this part here. Slaps very, very hard. Aggressive synthy, very aggressive kick, I would say, almost a techno kick, I would say. So, very, very cool, and then with the hi-hat. So a bit less of the progressive sounds, it would be a um, Cyrus D track, I would say. Yeah. Very, very cool. And the breakdown also kind of stays on the same line. You hear it very well. Still, this dark atmospheres, a lot of hi hats. So there's basically a lot of going on in a, in this uh, breakdown, which is rather rare for Eric Fritz, I would say, because his breakdowns are rather uh, calmed down, I would say, usually. So at least we heard it on the previous tracks. And that slaps hard. Wow. I'm so surprised of this track that actually he released such a rough one. Because we heard already very melancholic track, the Mercedes was one, for example. 
or legacy or Human was even well, was not as aggressive, so yeah, very very cool. Yeah, so that's that. That's uh, um, the hidden or the hidden. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, So Matt is also joined, thank you so much for joining. Yeah. Interestingly, it's only called uh, Hidden and not Be Hidden. I don't know why it came up with Be Hidden. But, um, I don't know. Like, yeah, no, it's called Hidden. That, that's alright. So yeah, and also here the, the outro is also very, very slow and then and I actually kind of also fades it out with, um, uh, with, with a filter. So, yeah. So Matt, thank you very much for joining for the last track of the CP, The Drive. Yeah, I know it's written here the hidden, actually it's only called hidden, but whatever, okay. I'll, I'll change that. So yeah, The Drive slaps very hard, it's one, uh, one of the Eric uh subreddit already mentioned. And it was called the Mambo 2015 ID. It was also played at Cafe Mambo in 2015, so Beats 1, Episode 1. And it was played, it was a track before Villa Mercedes. So he was playing The Drive, and then he was playing Villa Mercedes and then other tracks. And to me this is the most melancholic track of the EP, and it's a great uh, kind of way to finish this EP. So, and yeah, um, it fits very well to, to the uh, vibe of Cafe Mambo, also with this uh, guitar, mandolin, whatever that is that is playing here. The track goes also on for six minutes, so very very long one. Again, one minute intro, very enjoyable. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely fantastic, and you should really like uh, listen it, to listen to it closely, and really you know get get the magic behind the synths because this is basically what Eric is so phenomenal at. I would say it's really you know building up atmospheres with synths. This is very very unique. Also this part here with this little sub kick there, and just playing out the mandolin melody, absolutely sick. Yeah, so. Let's head to the last drop here. Egg Pritz the Drive. Yeah. And it really uh, track to drive to, I believe. Even like I can listen to that in the car for sure. Yeah. That's that. Um that was the last track. So there's one more EP coming up, the Volume 3 EP. I'm very interested how many tracks will there be on, whether this will be again 8 or 10 or 12. Because I believe uh, 4 years ago we had 4, 6 and 12, I believe it was back then. Now we have 6 and 8 already. So we'll see how what um, Volume 3 will bring to us. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, uh, also for, the, for the, these guys on YouTube. And yeah, I hope that I will be back um, maybe next week, maybe in two weeks' time with another episode of the DZCast. I um, hope that um, I'll also ask maybe some of you guys again for more tracks uh, that I that I can play. And yeah, hope to hope to see you on the next episode and have a great remaining week and a great uh, ho hopefully remaining festival summer because there are still definitely some uh, festivals coming up. And I'm not sure what I'm going to to one yet, but. I, I will check it and, and I'll let you know. So have a great remaining week and a great weekend later then and hopefully see you in the next episode. Thanks and bye.